The past five years, the cost of air ambulance service has doubled nationwide, leaving patients with five-figure bills that often lead to lawsuits, liens, or even bankruptcy. The nation's largest air ambulance service, Air Methods, has been getting the most complaints right here in Florida. I-Team investigator Adam Mulser, in conjunction with the ABC News' Brian Ross investigative team, has uncovered how these high bills are affecting people right here in Florida. In an emergency, air ambulances can mean the difference between life and death. We have a Lincoln limo versus a possible Jeep. Eric Leonhard was airlifted after being injured in a crash. I remember the, the crunch of the um, metal, and um, that's really all I could remember. Sophia Molina had complications from having her tonsils removed while on a family beach trip. And Sophia got up and, and was spitting up some blood. Christy Deloach went into sudden cardiac arrest, causing her implanted defibrillator to activate. It fired three times that morning within two and a half hours. All three patients were in Florida, had insurance coverage, and were flown to hospitals by Air Methods, America's largest air ambulance provider. Air Methods handles about one out of every four air ambulance calls from 300 bases across the United States. They operate Bay Flight right here at St. Joseph's Hospital in Tampa, as well as sites in Pinellas, Hernando, and Sarasota County. Air Methods, which posted $110 million in profits last year, also leads the industry in billing. Eric Leonhard received two big bills. I got airlifted to the local hospital, and there they determined that it was so severe that they had to fly me down to Miami. The cost of both flights added up to $70,000, which the company is trying to collect. You know, you have enough to worry about with just your physical injuries and what you're dealing with in life. Sophia Medina's family was billed $34,900 for a 37-mile flight from Naples to Fort Myers. You know, the surgery itself was a total of $16,000, and the helicopters nearly $35,000. Christy Deloach was charged $40,800 for a 26-mile flight, about $1,500 a mile. I want everyone to know how, how egregious this is. It's crazy. The insurance company that underpays the claim uh, is the one that really sticks them with the, the bill. Paul Webster is vice president of Air Methods. We lose money on seven out of ten transports. Webster says prices are high for paying patients because his company often has to transport uninsured patients for free and gets low reimbursements from Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurance. Deloach's insurance paid $4,100. Medina's paid $5,700, less than half the amount Webster says is Air Methods cost. If everybody paid their fair share, you know what the charge for this service would be? $12,000. Because air ambulance services are regulated like airlines, there are no restrictions on what they can charge. They can charge whatever they want to charge, right? And there's no transparency as to how they get to that price. Sandy Ahn is with Georgetown University's Health Policy Institute, which has studied the rapidly increasing cost of air ambulance service. You're unconscious, you're, ble you're bleeding, and you really don't have any choice in, you know, saying, yes, I want to take this flight. And then afterwards, you have really no ability to figure out what the real price is. These lawsuits from the Bay Area are among hundreds air methods is filed nationwide against patients who didn't pay their balances after their insurance companies wrote checks. Christy Deloach's husband signed this form as his wife was being hustled onto the helicopter, giving Air Methods permission to put a lien against their home. She's currently trying to settle. I just want to pay a reasonable dollar amount. Air Methods says it works with patients who were unable to pay the full amount, but Webster says the company will have to continue charging its current fees until reimbursements grow. The other choice is this, this, this service and this access goes away. I'm I-Team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.